you know, I just wanted to put this slide up first just to talk about, you know, early detection and treatment improves recovery. So, you know, I wanted to stress that every person's experience is unique. You know, some people have few problems while other people have more severe complications. And treatment and recovery depend on diagnosis, age, donor, other health factors, how much treatment other, other patients have had. They may have had longer treatment. Um, and complications can be a few months or it can be several years after transplant. So I just wanted to talk about long-term effect versus late effect. Um, sometimes they're a little gray and they may overlap a little bit. So basically a long-term effect is something that starts during treatment and continues, um, such as fatigue, uh, whereas a late effect may appear months to years after the completion of treatment. Um, so a late effect is a chronic or late occurring outcome. It could be physical or psychosocial resulting from the treatment of the cancer. So I just wanted to distinguish those, but we are going to call this long-term effects. So I'm going to focus on the physical, such as fatigue and just overall physical health, the psychological, such as anxiety, depression, uh, the social, the family distress, relationships, work, and spiritual. So there's a statistic from Padella et al. where 25% of survivors have ongoing bothersome medical symptoms. So it, it sounds like a high percentage. And I like this next um, statistic from Dr. Sardrala from um, Fred Hutch, who actually compared patients who had a stem cell transplant with healthy individuals. And they said at 10 years out of transplant, survivors are nearly as healthy as adults who never had a transplant. So I thought that was very positive. 